Well, the history of Dionysuchus is kind of interesting. The first specimen was found in West Texas, we thought, in the 1930s and published in the 1950s. Turns out 100 years before that, someone in Montana had found some gigantic crocodilian pieces. And turns out we've discovered it's all pretty closely related, but we didn't know. Here in the eastern United States, we had been finding teeth. And then I started finding a lot of teeth down in Georgia and East Alabama, and then jawbones and more and more stuff. And it turns out, basically, we have a bigger accumulation of this giant ancient crocodilian creature here in the southeast than in anywhere except maybe West Texas. Well, speaking of the size of Dinosuchus, um, here's, an, here's a specimen that gives us an example. This is a jaw, not in great shape, but strung together with the parts. We found this alongside the Chattahoochee River, uh, just south of Columbus, actually, about 20 miles on the river. Went down there in a canoe to, when the water was down very low and this was sticking out of the bank. And it'll give you a good size reference. Here's the jaw of that alligator skull. This is about a 13-footer. And you can see that, if you look closely, you can see more or less the same parts. Now, this jaw is very incomplete. It'll be much thicker through here. And the back end is missing. This structure here called the retroarticular process is missing. So this is going to come up like that. And the front area, this is stops about there. So the front curvature is missing too. So the complete jaw will run from there to about there. And if we extrapolate it from this, we're going to get a size. It's a little bit, it's not a, a simple extrapolation because as the skull grows, the body increases proportionally longer. So this is about a 13 foot animal, maybe a little bigger, 14 feet. This is, could be as big as a 29 footer. The animal that would be here would be really huge. It would run well over two tons, probably pushing three tons. That's still not as nearly as big as Dinosuchus got. The Texas specimens probably ran 11 meters, which is pushing up 35 feet, 36 feet, and there's one that may have reached 12 meters, 38 feet, 39 feet. And at that point, they're weighing as much as the Tyrannosaurus. We're looking at a seven ton animal because if you're familiar with alligators and crocodiles, the longer they get, they get heavy in proportion ex exponentially. A 10-footer is many times bigger than a 5-footer. They get, you go from 50 pounds to 100 pounds to 300 pounds to 1,000 pounds to 2,000 pounds as you increase each 20%. So when you're getting up in the 20-plus foot range, you're in tons. These are really big animals.